Hi again. I've been rereading the Lord's Prayer in Luke 11, where his disciples come to him and they say, Jesus, would you teach us to pray? And then he says the Our Father for them, and he says, when you pray, pray like this. And there's many things to be noted about the Our Father, but what struck me this morning was simply the reminder to pray for a lot of different things in different ways. So, for instance, we pray thanks to God for being who he is, for being faithful. We pray for God's kingdom, for God's flourishing, for the accomplishing of God's goals and plans for the world. We pray thanks for the work God is doing in us, in our souls, and in our lives. We pray that we could confess well, that we would be able to admit when we were wrong and be cleaned somehow in the process. We pray all sorts of ways, and I think sometimes we might get caught up. I know I do get caught up in praying for specific things or for situations and people. And that's good and that's well insofar as it goes, right? It is good to know that you're being held up in prayer by others when you're in a time of trouble. And yet it's also good for us to to remember to be giving thanks and to be giving honor and respect to God. The other thing that I noticed though is right after it, you have this story about being persistent in prayer. So not only are we called to be broad in the types of prayers that we offer, we are also to try to be consistent. And this, I think, is where many of us have a lot of trouble, right? The idea of praying every day or multiple times a day. I don't think it's helpful to have hard and fast rules about how long you're going to pray. That just sets us up for failure. I think it's helpful to say, I will pray today and make a point of it. And then you pray as long as it makes sense or as many times as makes sense. I know some super holy people, their whole lives are prayer and we give every breath to God. And yet most of us, we trundle along somewhere down here and we just need to get praying at all. One thing I have learned, a little trick, and it's true of journaling, it's true of meditation and various other things, is it's really helpful to have a piece of paper and pen around so that when something comes into your mind that's distracting, like uh, you got to buy duct tape today then you can just jot that down and move on. Because if you don't, at least for me, it keeps coming back and it's very interruptive. It's very intrusive and often ultimately makes me quit. So I've learned to keep a little piece of paper near me to make the little to do so I can get them down and move on with my life to to do what I actually want to be doing, which is to be sitting in prayer. And so I invite you today to consider how often you pray and also how broad the topics are you're praying for are you always asking for something or are you also giving something in return that's a good question for each of us to consider in our prayer lives today